Hi guys, in this tutorial we'll cover the following. I'll teach how to secure your password, ways to improve your password, some golden rules, what can happen if your password is weak, some other ways to make it secure and why it's most important to secure your email password first. I thought I'd show you in an animation. This is how the hacker. Uh, this guy loves to get into your accounts and I'll do a live demonstration on why he loves your email account more than anything else. Let's see what trouble he can get into with a weak password on your account. So how the hackers going after your email account first, because this is the keys to your digital life. So now he's into your email account. Uh, what else can he cause trouble in? So you can reset all the passwords to your other account, such as your Facebook, online shopping, your banking, Amazon, eBay, and all of those get sent back to your email account. So now he has control of those as well. Now he can impersonate you on social media. People are not gonna know it's not you because it's gonna be sent out in your name. So it's important to secure your email first. You can also get into your bank account as well because once he's got access to the email account you can reset all your credentials. Then once he's got hold of your bank account he can then start spending money online and it's very hard to prove it's not you that's made these transactions. Let me show you how to secure your password, some rules you can apply and things to avoid. So first thing to avoid is kids names or pets names birthdays, addresses, phone numbers, national insurance numbers, sports teams, common words like cat, dog, mom, children's names, etc. These are too easy to guess and uh, gives a hacker an easy way into your account. Some things you should do though, make sure your password has a minimum of 8 characters, ideally 12. Use uppercase letters and lowercase letters. Throw in some numbers and symbols and mix it up generally just for each and every website mix it up don't use the same password on every single one so this is our bad password example i'll show you how to apply these rules so as you can see by the second example we have taken our bad password and we've applied some capital letters to it in the middle we've applied a symbol the symbol could be anything we've used a hashtag in this case then we can add a number to it and then we can add a letter on the end of it. So this is making it stronger every time. And on the end of that letter, we can finally add a couple of full stops on the end as well. Just to make it even stronger. Let me show you on a live website how to apply this in a practical way. I'm going to show you a website. You can actually test out your password. It's colour coded, which is fantastic. And the better your password is, it changes colour. So if it's red, it's really bad. If it's blue, it's kind of medium. If the screen turns green, then your password's a good one. I'll show you some of the passwords we used in our example. So I'll show you how to get to the website first. So if you open up Google Chrome, you can use the search box at the top or the search box in the middle. Then just type how secure is my password press enter then we're going to use this top one which is how secure is my password.net okay this is a great website just to practice on or you just want to practice the skills i've been teaching in this video you can just practice with our examples and you should be able to apply it to your own password let's try our base example I love you so that's going to get pretty much broken instantly okay Let's see if we can turn it into capital letters. So that's 22 minutes for that one, with the capital letters. So let's see if we can improve it even further. Let's put a symbol in there. I just added a hashtag in between the love and the you. Okay, let's add a number on the end of that one. Let's see, number four. So as you can see, the screen's gone up to five years and it's turned blue. So we're on our way to a good password. Let's put another letter in there. Let's put the U in there. So that's 400 years to break it. That's pretty good so far. 
let's put ever on it so now it's up to 15 billion years that's pretty good as well okay let's put some full stops on the end as you can see by the screen it's saying green that means this password's really good let's go back to our slides and i'll show you a final summary and some final tips and tricks so what else can you use how about using song lyrics instead so if you've got a song that no one knows you like you can then take that favorite lyrics from them and turn them into passwords you take the example that's on the screen john denver uh, we picked a lyric from his song we kept every first letter of each of the words and then combined them to make a password and then we also added the release year of the song as well which gives us a super strong password there's a couple of other examples i can show you as well just to help if songs are not your thing in this example we use a book instead same principle so what you can do is basically take a quote from your favorite author and then turn them into passwords so we took this one from the fellowship of the ring and same principle again we took the first letter of each of the words and deleted the rest of the word and then we added the year the book was published in 1954 and then that gives you a nice strong password so you can pretty much apply these rules to anything and everything from lyrics to quotes to written texts whatever suits you try and find something that you'll remember you can also use tv shows and film titles as well works really well with both of those and lines from your favorite sitcoms shows let's just review what we've covered in our summary try and use different passwords on each of the websites you visit use something not easy to guess use a password that only you would know use a combination of numbers and letters and symbols no using children's names or birthdays use a combination of numbers letters and symbols as featured in our examples and this should make your password nice and secure once you've secured your email account go ahead and do the same to all your other online accounts then any accounts you're no longer using close them down and hackers can't get into these and pull back the details i hope you found this useful and i'll catch you in the next one